Kansas City real estate market has experienced significant growth over the past several years. And today I'll be sharing with you the top five areas that are heating up and two areas that are cooling down. Stay tuned. Real estate is hyper local. So I dove into the data to bring some real time numbers. And frankly, I was a little surprised by some of the areas on the list. But before we jump into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're putting out new videos every single week about eating, sleeping, living and playing right here in Kansas City. Okay, let's start with number five on the list, my hometown, Olathe. Olathe is in Johnson County on the southwest corner of the metro. It's a little further away from downtown Kansas City with about a 30 minute commute. And there are several new developments currently being built out west by Lake Olathe and to the south down by Heritage Park, which is crazy to me considering there was absolutely nothing out there when I was growing up. And it makes sense when you look at the population growth. Olathe has grown by nearly 50,000 people over the past 20 years. Today, it has a population of over 140,000 people. And that's reflected in the home prices with a median sales price of $445,000. That's a year over year appreciation of 7.2%. The demand for homes in Olathe is on the rise and there are currently less than 300 homes for sale, which is causing home values to increase at a rapid rate. Coming in at number four is Olathe's big brother, Overland Park. And this is really no surprise to anybody as Overland Park is consistently ranked as one of the top places to live, not only in Kansas City, but in the entire United States. Similar to Olathe, there is a ton of new development taking place in Southern Overland Park. In fact, South OP is undergoing so much growth that they're widening six 69 highway and converting it into a $570 million tollway. That whole area between Prairie Fire and the Arboretum is exploding with new construction communities with some of the most expensive real estate in the entire metro being sold south of 135th Street. So let's talk about the stats over the past year. The median sales price has gone up by 9.4% to 465,000. Currently, there are only 315 active listings on the market for the second largest city in the state of Kansas, which will continue to put upward pressure on home prices. And between the top rated schools and the amenities, I don't see demand for housing in Overland Park slowing down anytime soon. Okay, so that's two for Johnson County, but this next Missouri city has sustained an incredible double digit appreciation over the past year. And that city is Liberty. The number one place to live in Clay County, according to niche.com, has a relatively affordable median sales price of 345,000 and a year over year appreciation of 12.7%. I absolutely love the historic Liberty Square, its proximity to downtown and to the airport. Now, it is a considerably smaller city with a population of right around 30,000 people, but there are currently only 45 active listings on the market. The combination of location, affordability, and its highly rated public schools have been attracting more buyers and led to a strong demand for housing, all of which puts Liberty in a great position for homeowners and future appreciation. At number two, we have Lenexa, which makes sense following the nearly billion dollar city center development. The 69 acre mixed use development includes over 1 million square feet of office and retail, 375 residential units, a public market, and a state of the art aquatic center for the Shawnee Mission School District. It's positioned perfectly in one of the highest growth areas in Johnson County. Apparently, this is what happens when you don't have to allocate funds to your own school district, with Lenexa being split between Olathe and Shawnee Mission school districts. You also have Shawnee Mission Park just north of the city center, which offers a lake and over 10 miles of hiking trails. In return, Lenexa has seen an impressive year-over-year -year appreciation of 18.6%, with a median sales price of $490,000. The city's strategic development and location have led to a surge in demand for the Kansas suburb. And finally, the fastest growing city in the entire metro in terms of appreciation is none other than Parkville. The Old Town Historic District, Nature Sanctuary, and English Landing Park alone makes it a highly desirable place to live. But Parkville has a lot more going for it than that as the number one place to live in Platte County, according to niche.com. It's a part of the highly sought after Park Hill School District and conveniently located 15 minutes from downtown 
in 15 minutes from the airport. As a result, the median sales price has risen to a whopping $632,500 and an astonishing year-over-year -year appreciation of 22.6%. With its beautiful scenery, amenities, and growing popularity, Parkville continues to capture the attention of many Kansas Cityans. Now, a couple areas that are cooling off, both of which surprised me. The first one being Leewood, which has seen a slight decline of 0.37% appreciation over the past year. I love Leewood, it's part of the Country Club District, has beautiful mature trees and older homes, but house flippers and developers have gone a little overboard in my opinion. The median sales price in Leewood is currently $680,000 and many of the homes that sell in that price range are older ranch style homes that have been updated. Now we are only talking about a less than half percent decrease and Leewood is still a highly sought after place to live, but it would seem that some buyers are choosing to spend their money elsewhere. In the other area cooling down that really caught me off guard is Lee Summit. With a median sales price of just over 390,000, Lee Summit's year over year appreciation has declined by 2.4%. One statistic that stood out to me is that Lee Summit saw homes with price drops nearly double year over year, which would indicate that the homes in the area are overvalued to some degree. Now look, I'm not overly concerned with a less than 3% drop in appreciation appreciation when you consider the amount of insane appreciation that we've seen over the past three years. It would be foolish to think that prices aren't going to stabilize in some of these micro markets. However, I expect prices to continue to rise in Kansas City until supply can keep up with demand at the very least. The Kansas City real estate market has been robust and while some areas are experiencing cooling trends, it's important to note that real estate is dynamic and can change rapidly, which is why it's crucial that you get in touch with a local realtor who knows the ins and outs of the market. If you're looking to buy or sell a property in Kansas City, our team would love to assist you. So shoot us an email at info at movingtokc.net. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as we're putting out new content every single week about eating, sleeping, living, and playing right here in Kansas City. Until next time.